Hello programmer, in this tutorial, we are going to make a Windows form from Visual Studio where we can add new record, edit and delete existing record of a student. Let's see how this complete application work. We can save data, add new data and delete the existing data. Our first step is creating a database, so open Microsoft Access Click on blank desktop database Then click on folder icon to choose a location where you want to save your database Choose 2003 format And name student data Then click ok to save And click create Click on view and give a name student table. Click OK. Now fill this field with your given data. After that, save. To add some data on a database, just double click on it and fill some data. Then save this database. And our next step is creating a form, so close Microsoft Access and open Visual Studio. To create a new project, just click on new project or you can also click here, new project. Give a name student form. Then click on browser to choose a location where you want to save your project. Click OK to save. To connect a database, go to View, Other Windows, and Data Source. Then Data Source Windows will appear. Click here. Choose Database and click Next. Click Next. Click on New Connection. Click on Change and choose Microsoft Access Database file, click OK. Click on Browser to find a location where you have recently saved your database file. Test the connection, click OK. Again click on OK. Then click on Next. If you click on Yes, then it will create a copy of database file on our project. But if you click on No, then project will use our actual database file and at this time I just click on no click on next we need all this column that's why just tick student table then click finish in default it was in data view grid but at this time we need details Drag it and drop on the form. Change their font size to Tubel. Make suitable space between them. Open Toolbox, Search Radio button, and 
and drag it on the form. Now copy and paste the radio button and change their text and name. Change their font size to 2 bill. Now click on gender text box and make it read only true. To display the corresponding name on gender text box, just double click on mail, then write a flowing code. If rad mail dot checked then gender text box dot text equal to rad mail dot text now for female if rad female dot checked then gender text box dot text equal to rad female dot text click start to check when you click on radio button then corresponding name will appear on the gender text box but if we click on the next and previous button then no change will appear on the radio button So they double click on student table blinding navigator then write a flowing code if gender text box dot text equal to rad mail dot text then rad mail dot check equal to true rad female dot check equal to false else if gender text box dot text equal to rad female dot text then rad female dot checked equal to true rad male dot checked equal to false here you can see the changes now our next step is creating a button for next previous add new save and delete so go to toolbox search button and drag it on the form copy the button and paste it five times arrange them and change their name and text Arrange them Now add a code for previous button Student table binding source dot move previous and code for next button is student table binding source dot move next press f5 to run here you can see next and previous button work well
Now add a code on save data. Try student table binding source dot in edit table adapter manager dot update all close bracket student data set msg box success and in catch msg box error occur please recheck the field and try again then press f5 to execute the application if the field contain correct data then it will be saved else error occur now code for delete button student table binding source dot remove current table adapter manager dot update all student data data set msg box current record deleted debug and check double click on add new button then add a flowing code student table binding source dot add new rid mail dot check equal to true to make mail as default and debug to add new data Save success. If you have any question, then please drop it on comment section. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.